Alright guys, as in organic chemistry, important question or part 3 is start kurim. So, prathom question as a, for I equal 1, the shape of orbital is, option A as a, unsymmetrical, option B as a, spherical, spherically symmetrical, option B, C as a, dumbbell, option C, D as a, complicated. So, correct answer is a, option C, dumbbell shape. Next question as a, the principal quantum number represents, option A as a, shape of, an orbital option b as a distance of uh, electron from nucleus option c as a number of electrons in an or orbit option d as a number of orbital in an orbit so correct answer is a option b distance of electron from nucleus next question as a how many electrons can be fit into the orbital that compromise uh, comprise the third energy level option a as a 2 option b as a 8 option c as a 18 option D as a 32 so correct answer is option C 18 next question if value of i equal 0 the shape of orbital is option A as a rectangular option B as a spherical option C as a dumbbell option D as a unsymmetrical so correct answer is option B spherical Next question for n equal 3 the number of possible orbitals are option a as a 1 option b as a 3 option c as a 4 option d as a 9 so correct answer is option d 9 next question the third orbital is complete the new electron will enter the option a 4p orbital option b 4f orbital option c as a 4s orbital option d as a 4d orbital so correct answer is option a 4p orbital next question is total number of radial nodes of 3s and 2p orbitals are respectively option a as a 2 0 option b as a 0 2 option c as a 1 2 option d as a 2 1 so correct answer is option a 2 0 next question is the ambr of an electron depends on Option A as a principal quantum number, option B as a azimuthal quantum number, option C as a magnetic quantum number, option D as a all of this. So, correct answer is a option B azimuthal quantum number. Next question is a, the maximum energy is present in an electron at which area? Option A as a nucleus, option B as a ground state, option C as a fast excited state, option D as a infinite distance from the nucleus. So, correct answer is option D, infinite distance from the nucleus. Next question is the number of orbitals for n, uh, n equal 4 will be option A, 4, option B, 8, option C, 12, option D, 16. So, correct answer is option D, 16. Next question, the two electron in K subcell will differ in option A, N, option B, L, M. S. So, correct answer is option D, S. Next question is, the element having atomic number 29 possesses how many unpaired electron in D orbitals? Option A is 10, option B is 1, option C is 0, option D is 5. So, correct answer is option C, 0. Next question, the similarities found between 2p and 3p orbital that is option A shape, option B size, option C energy, option D hello of N. So, correct answer is option A shape. Next question is the azimuthal quantum number is related to option A size, option B shape, option C orientation, option D spin. So, correct answer is option B shape. Next question is the value of I for the last electron of sodium atom is option A 1, option B 2, option C 3, option D 0. So, correct answer is option D 0. Next question is in D orbital the maximum number of unpaired electron can be present is option A 1, option B 3, option C 5, option D 7. So, correct answer is option c 5 next question is 
the number of unpaired electron in an oxygen molecule is option a 0 option b 1 option c 2 option d is a 3 so correct answer is a option c 2 next question is the number of unpaired electron i the element for z equal 29 is option a 1 option b 3 option c 4 option d 2 so next uh, answer is a 1 Next question is maximum how many quantum number may same by two electron option a one option b two option c three option d four so correct answer is option c three next question is how many orbital can have the following quantum number n equal three i equal one ml equal 0 option a 4 option b 2 option c 1 option d 3 so correct answer is a option c 1 next question is for the set of quantum number n equal 3 i equal 1 m equal minus 1 the maximum electron will be option a 2 option b 6 option c 10 option d 4 so correct answer is a option a 2 Next question is the maximum number of electron that can fit in an orbital with n equal 3 and i equal 1. Option A is a 14, option B is a 6, option C is a 10, option D is a 2. So, correct answer is a option D 2. Next question Which of the following helps to determine the maximum number of electron present in a subcell? Option A is a 12 plus 1, option B is a 2n square, option C is a 4l plus 1, option D is a 4l minus 2. So, correct answer is a option C, 4l plus 2. Next question is, which of the following quantum number governs the st stereal orientation of an or atomic orbital? Option A is a magnetic quantum number, option B is a spin quantum number, option C is a azimuthal quantum number, Option D is a principal quantum number. So, correct answer is a option A magnetic quantum number. Next question is a which, which one represents the three dimensional shape, on, shape of an atomic orbital? Option A is a azimuthal quantum number. Option C is a principal quantum number. Option C spin quantum number. Option D magnetic quantum number. So, correct answer is a option A azimuthal quantum number. Next question is the maximum number of orbital present in a subshell can be represented by option A 2L plus 1, option B 2N uh, square, option C 4L plus 2, option D 4L minus uh, 2. So, correct answer is option A 2L plus 1. Next question is for the orbitals with n equal to and l equal 1, the number of electrons that fit in it. it is option a 8 option b 2 option c 6 option d 4 so correct answer is a option c 6 next question is a for i equal 3 the number of electrons will be option a 14 option b 2 option c 10 option d 6 so correct answer is a option a 14 so i'm going to next video thank you